Hi Sagittarians, welcome in you guys and welcome back to Searchlight Tarot. If you've never viewed me, my name is Elena. Happy Friday, new beginnings, positive movement forward. There's a lot of things going on around you right now, Sagittarians, as far as energies. I know your last reading was ready, set, go. And usually my incoming comes in in about a week and a half and it's a week and a half. And right now there are things coming at you and you're probably like, what is going on? Um, I believe that everything that's coming your way right now is to show you that there's all these possible possibilities of new beginnings towards the things in life that are going to bring you happiness. A lot of new things are coming your way right now, Sagittarians. It's to show you that everything that you've been through lately has taught you something about your own strength, your own energy of standing up for what you wanted in life. And these are going to be your current energies I'm about to look at. This is good for the collective, Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus current energies for Sagittarius. Uh, let's see. I'll be looking at your recent past, current for Sagittarius, one shuffle. What is coming in for you in the next few weeks? And love crossing will be towards the end. Okay. Everything's starting to come together for you. Partnerships and alliances. I'm telling you, I know what I'm feeling. I always go by how I feel in the cards, but let's begin spirit guides for Sagittarius. Current energies for the sign of Sagittarius. Thank you. What do I need to see for the sign of Sagittarius? Current energies, please. It's a new deck, so they're always a little stiff, but I haven't broken in the past few days. Here we go, you guys. Are you ready? Underneath the deck is some obstacles and challenges. There's an energy around you right now for getting past those. Because underneath that is recognition and reward. There's something waiting for you, trying to get you to the other side of crossing over to something. The only obstacles and challenges we can ever come across is feeling that we can't get over it or achieve it. You have the energy around you right now, Sagittarians. This is recognition and reward. There's a lot of patience and planning around you right now, and it's a beautiful energy, Sagittarians, about the golden pillar of your own patience. This is a golden pillar of your abundance. Because spirit guides want me to tell you, uh, you guys are moving forward. And the ship is sailing towards the sun. This is positive movement forward. I feel like if this is your reading, Sagittarians, you are in a big energy right now of going towards the things that are going to make you happy. And I feel there's a lot of things coming your way right now to push your sailboat, sailboat forward. Okay, here we go. I have a little trapped in fear that your own thought process, we always start to get in this energy sometimes when we start to move in the right direction of what is it? What's going on? Can I trust this? Why is it? You're not to ask anything right now. You're needing to trust something. That's what I feel. I have uh, financial and material changes. I have a lot of strength and courage. There's something going on right now, Sagittarians, to change parts of your life. And I feel spirit guides are telling me, this is trapped in fear of the unknown. I feel there's an energy around you right now for you to take a chance with something and go towards the place that you want because there's things coming in towards you right now, if this is your reading, to push you towards places that's going to be more just happiness, abundance. I have a little suffering in silence. I'm only saying a little because I feel there's certain Sagittarians that go through a transition. When we all go through a transition, sometimes we can feel a little alone. But if this is your reading, I feel that there's something coming in right now to show you that change is all around you, Sagittarians, and you needn't fear the unknown. There's something coming in to show you that where you're going is trying to connect everything for you for partnerships and alliances. There's a lot of things you're coming your way right now, Sagittarians. If this is your reading, the things that you've been wishing for, the things that you've been hoping for is all coming into fruition right now. And we can't <clears throat> get everything all at once. We wouldn't want to handle it. But the things that are coming towards you right now are to show you that you're moving in the right direction. There's a lot of things coming in for you to move you forward, to push you forward. <clears throat> Destiny, and then I have, here it is right there, accelerated motion. <laughs> you guys, this is beautiful. You have so many beautiful things flying in at you right now. They're all parts of your destiny to get you somewhere, Sagittarius. I feel what's around you right now is a lot of new chapters, a lot of new beginnings. I feel that there's little things coming your way to show you like, but they want me to tell you to go with it. It's taking your sailboat somewhere. 
The next two cards are your fulfillment of wishes and then I have the beautiful crown chakra. And you know, our crown chakra is where it's open to love and receiving with love. I feel spirit guides are telling me, Sagittarius, you have something coming in for you that's creating a lot of abundance and happiness for you. The only thing that may leave you in a place of a stalemate or indecision is thinking that, well, it was unhealthy for me before, or I don't want to get caught up in a bad situation again. But I feel this whole thing is showing me that the things that are coming your way right now is to show you that what you've been putting out there for a long time about your own happiness, your fulfillment of the wishes, the things you've been wanting are all coming into fruition for you and change is always scary. That they want you to go with the flow of something right now because the things that are coming your way are trying to get you to where you need to be and there's a lot of people that are trying to pull you there, push you there, help you there. Don't let your thoughts get you in a place of, well, you're not going back there anymore, okay? Because I know I've been doing your readings for a while and it's been a little rough, rocky ride, but there's a big sense of strength and courage around you that you can't even deny. You just have this power around you, this strength. And I feel spirit guides are telling me, trust the things that are coming your way right now. They're all connecting you to something bigger and better. And everything that's coming your way right now is to change parts of your life that you've been hoping and wishing for for a long time. And I feel that this is about you knowing how to accept it with love, be open to it with love, and go with it, Sagittarians. Now, I wanted to do your reading before I did Leo. I don't know why. I just kept feeling Sagittarius, Sagittarius. So this is really a big reading for certain Sagittarians. You guys, whenever I see a celebrated motion, it's telling me everything that's flying in at you right now is with stars. Hope endless possibilities to push you somewhere bigger and better. Okay, let's look at your recent past, Sagittarians. This is beautiful. Things are picking up at a rapid rate. And once we roll into Gemini season, it's blast off time. Okay, let's look at your recent past just a little bit. I wanna use, um, I'm gonna use a Rider weight. Just a few messages about your recent past. Just a few, it's gonna leave me right here. Something new, Page of Cups, Five of Swords. I have the, I have the Emperor your king of pentacles and the devil huh? Huh. Um, what am I feeling here well there was something that you had to learn and it was about things in life that I feel you once felt attached to it was something that you got lured into because maybe it was a better job a better relationship it looked better on the outside but I feel you started seeing things for what they were and I feel that there was a huge energy behind you recently for you to get the determination to go after something more of being a success. But the five of swords are things people say to us to demean us. And sometimes those words can last a lifetime. And I feel that recently behind you, all you wanted was new. Like you just wanted new everything with love. You are like, I'm over all this old stuff. I want new stuff. And with the emperor showing up, it's telling me something kicked you in the butt and you just started to get these ambitious plans, take charge of situations in your life. Because right now, whatever you feel has been a little stagnant, if this is your reading, things have been coming at you lately to show you something out of the blue. And it's to show you we're trying to push you forward towards new abundant beginnings. Spirit guides, Reason pass for Sagittarius, for messages. What do I need to see? Reason pass for Sagittarius. Anything else? Okay. A golden opportunity, new solid beginnings, the Ace of Pentacles, the lovers, parts of your destiny, the night of love, wanting to go after everything with love. And I just feel that recently behind you, you are making choices because this is a card of destiny and choices. I feel whatever you wanted recently behind you was something bigger and better. And you were putting a lot of energy into it. And I just feel that you had a lot of wake up calls about cycles, chapters. Okay, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Cups. I feel that there were things you were putting work into and the Three of Cups is with other people, other situations that once made you happy. And I don't know why I'm saying that. But when I see the tower with the world, um, it's just telling me that you had a lot of sudden revelations about certain things in your life that 
you knew had to be close chapters. Like, I think they were starting to bore you. That's what I kind of feel. I don't see the cards. I just have a feeling. Queen of Pentacles on the floor. High Priestess and a place of indecision. You know, the crossroads is an energy of... Swords are thoughts, okay? So it's about finding a compromise. But I feel recently behind you, you had enough of something. You had a wake-up call. And I feel there was something that you realized you wanted to go after and it was something bigger and better. You were just waiting for things to move forward. The Fool, the Sun, this is coming into your current energies. The last card is the Fast Page of Swords. And, you know, it's air. So right now around you in your energies is you're starting to see everything in a new light. This is more curiosity. Like it's a big new energy of looking at everything in a new way. Like there's things coming at you right now to shift your viewpoint, shift your way of thinking. And I feel it's about taking a leap of faith toward the things that are going to make you happy. So there's a lot of energies coming in for you, I feel right now. Partnerships and alliances I saw twice to try to pull you in a new direction to help you in a new direction. And I always tell people when things like that keep happening, it's because old cycles are over, new chapters are here for changes, and there's things coming your way to show you that what you've been wanting before recently behind you, it's now time. Things are gonna keep opening up for you to show you that it's now time for you to go after things in life with new beginnings. The Ace of Pentacles is the best Ace we can get. It's going to lead somewhere big, you guys. And so this is beautiful. You know, I mean, this is a sense of optimism. Follow your heart. Do what brings you joy with the sun. And you guys have positive movement forward around you right now with a lot of power and a lot of accelerated motion. Things are flying in at you and you might be questioning why. Don't question why. Go with it. It's leading you somewhere bigger and better. It's one lily pad at a time. And it's all moving in. So get ready to go boom. And once we hit Gemini season, it's it, you're flying. But let's look at what is coming in for you now. Um, I feel that uh, there's so many new things going on around you right now that in the next few weeks, it's just going to be one new door after another. I'm doing the compass card today. I don't know why, but this is where I want to go. I have the magical map shifter. I have peaks of joy and a new path has been cleared. To your magic stream oh sagittarians i'll put them all back in let's shuffle the magical map shifter there are magical things coming in for you that's shifting the things in life that you truly want the magician is the creator but it's our own energy i feel that you have been putting out there for a long time about things in your life changing i feel you've been very patient and spirit guides are telling me get ready sagittarians things are shifting for massive change towards something that you've been wanting and it's a beautiful stream of just magical happenings, magical new beginnings. Strongest incoming next week, two weeks for the sign of Sagittarius. Strongest incoming energies for the sign of Sagittarius. Hmm. Looks like you're pulling something massive in. It's the Tailsman. And next to the Tailsman is the Blue Crystal of Manifestation. You know, this is a big energy coming in for you Sagittarians, telling me that you can go ahead and venture out yonder with your own energy because you're pulling it in. What is it? It's the magic stream. You guys, something is pushing you in a whole new direction and it's from something you've been wanting for a long time. And this is about going with the flow, letting the stream take you, letting the stream show you where to go something coming that you this is a card you guys are pulling something big in i do have dry desert are you guys ready <laughs> before i even go there hold on this is the card of resourcefulness you guys no matter where you're at in life spirit guides are saying i mean there's always things around you to get you through it's a big energy of your own resourcefulness because the next card they gave me to give to you, you only got two cards is a new path has been cleared. And how you take that path is in how you envision what you want to come towards you because look at all the green. Green is abundance, you guys. 
telling me that it's something that you keep envisioning. It is finally here and the path is open. This is fast energy. Expect a big shift and just go with the flow. It's all taking you to the place where you want to be your magic stream. Remember, you're strong. You have a lot of resourcefulness. If there's something you really want to go after, spirit guides are telling me for you to go after it. It's all going to flow in the right direction. It's all going to lead you in the right direction. Go with the energies coming in for you it's to show you that there's something big and better that you're about to take. And it's a part of your path. This is beautiful, Sagittarians. Magnificent, I must say. Um, I, congratulations, you guys. I love seeing this. And I'm just going to say, whenever I see that, it's telling me that this is fast energy. We're rolling into Gemini season. This whole new path has been cleared. It's open fields and you are pulling it in from something you've been putting out there. Keep putting it out there and follow the magic stream that keeps coming your way. It's going to take you to places and you have a lot more strength and resourcefulness than you can even imagine. So what's coming your way is just abundance and new beginnings. And I'm going to get some spirit guide messages. I like to tie the reading together and then I'll get some angel messages and then love crossing at the end. And I just want to say thank you to all my Sagittarians. You guys, thank you for your love and support. Um, I love doing fire sign readings. They, I, I feel the energy and I want to thank everyone for your likes, comments, shares, all of that. I truly am grateful and I love you guys. Okay, ready? Messages. The king of determination. Oh, nothing's stopping you, Sagittarians. I do not know who's under these decks. About your ten of pentacles. Now, your ten of pentacles is everything that you want. And I, you are pulling something in. And I feel the message with the other few cards, five of pentacles, nine of swords, six of cups, is telling me to stop giving in to old situations that aren't giving back in the right way. And it could be your own energies. Perhaps like it's something that you keep feeding that's just not serving you anymore. Because the king of wands, the king of fire is a lot of courage, determination, and the king never gives up. And that's what spirit guides want me to tell you. Don't give up, Sagittarians. Go after what you want. You got the power around you. Spirit guides, messages about the reading today for the sign of Sagittarius. What messages about the reading do you have for Sagittarius today? Messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. King of Fire with the Seven of Cups is on my chest. I have a flipper. Oh, look at this one. It's a ditty. All right, you guys. Who's under the deck? Okay, the Talesman. The card that flipped is the Hierophant. We are in Taurus season, but right now this is about your own commitment, your own faith, your own loyalty. And as long as you are in this energy of realizing that everything in life is about commitment. If there's something bigger and better you want, be committed. Be loyal, have the faith, you will get to the top. It's a big energy and it's a teacher of it. Underneath the deck is something at a distance that you are about to pull in. It's the talesman, it's the three of wands. Keep nurturing something here. Keep investing in something here, Sagittarians. Don't be afraid to venture, venture out of the box. There's something bigger and better waiting for you and it's coming in for you. The seven of pentacles is about nurturing the things we want earth energy but as long as you keep yourself in an energy of commitment and loyalty about the things in life that you want to pull in you're gonna be harvesting this very soon because the two cards on my chest is the big king of fire with the seven of cups the king of fire you guys it's it's courage determination the bat the battle is never over because this king always wins it has a lot of charisma a lot of determination they're telling me to try to use it but there's certain situations and things in your life that you really need to look at about what you want to come towards you. Because the Seven of Cups is always about options and choices. If we have too much energy out there about too many flighty things, there's one thing in particular that you're pulling in and spirit guides are telling me to focus on the one big thing you want. Don't keep your energy scattered, okay? Okay, here we are, where am I going? I have the High Priestess, the Three of Cups in Reverse, the Eight of Wands sideways, and then I have the Sun sideways. The Eight of Wands is telling me all these beautiful things that are flying in you is to teach you that there's a big sense of optimism around you and you need to stay in the power of the Sun. 
Three of Cups in Reverse is telling me that there's certain things in your life that aren't worth, how shall I say this very carefully? Um, okay, this is the card of rejoice, celebration, good times, the people that we care about, the people that we love. But I feel spirit guides are telling me for you to stop looking at things in a place of nothing's going to work out or it looks good, but it's probably not going to happen and trust your own deep knowing. Like the sun is here with the eight of wands. So it's like you're pulling something in and, it, and it's big, you guys. And spirit guides are telling me, stay in your own optimism about all these things that are coming your way because they're always blessings in disguise. That there's certain situations in your life that once brought you happiness, but I feel spirit guides are telling me that you're going to start to see things for what they are. And the king of fire is a big king that doesn't give up. And it's all about your own commitment and loyalty and your faith and you will get to the top. Ace of Wands is here. I have the Knight of Love. Spirit, I have one card left. Spirit guys are saying, if there's something new you want in your life, there's a horse in this Ace. It's the horse of fire, it's you. Go after it. This is new beginnings, new inspiration, new passion. And do it with the things that you want with your heart. Last card they gave you. It's in how you view something, the hanging man. Now, this is a message. The hanging man is feeling like we're really stuck to things because, well, you know, no, there is no, you know, like you're not stuck to anything. You can just go up there and undo your shoelace because I feel spirit guides are telling me what's before you are endless possibilities. And you keep having these beautiful omens fly in at you to give you a sense of optimism. Have the king of courage, the king of determination to go after something with your loyalty and your commitment. And this is all around you. The only time we're ever in a hanging man position is when we have to change our perspective on something. And that's what I feel spirit guides are telling me. Your intuition will never steer you wrong. All these things flying in at you are to give you a sense of optimism about what the future can hold. And spirit guides are saying, go after it. Because what you're going to pull in with your own commitment and faith is massive. Beautiful reading for you today, Sagittarians, I must say. Our perspective you know you're my rising so I you round out my personality and I completely understand what this is trying to say to you that there's an old part of you that you don't need to hold on to anymore because what's waiting for you is new beginnings it's all about your commitment and loyalty to it and spirit guides are saying watch this giant ship you're about to pull in it's not a ship Sagittarians it's a yacht <laughs> Beautiful reading today, you guys. Congratulations, Sagittarius. It's going to start flying. The accelerated motion. It's just moving. All right. I'm going to get some angel cards for you now. Three for Sagittarius. Then I'll do some love crossing if you've been dealing with somebody. For Sagittarius today, Spirit Guides. I'll do one more shuffle. Wheel in the sky is going to turn for you. <laughs> I'm in a goofy mood today. I don't know why. Spirit guys, I'd love some angel cards for Sagittarius today, please. I would like three of the strongest. Yes, angel cards. Thank you. Three of the strongest angel cards. Oh, two queens right off the bat. For Sagittarius, please. If you can tell Sagittarius any messages today from the angel cards for Sagittarius. Give me one more. Anything else? Maybe not. Anything else? Just felt like there was one strong one in there. Oh, look who you have over here, Sagittarians. Okay. You got the world. It's in your hands. The whole world is in your hands. Four of Raphael, and then I'm going to take two. I got the leap of faith. No, I'm going to take three, the nine of Ariel. You guys are all lined up. You see me shuffle. The four of Raphael is Angel Raphael, and this is what Angel Raphael, the master angel of love, has to say to you. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life, Sagittarians. Be aware of your own emotions, whether it be fear of the unknown, you know, something that happened from the past. Look for the magic in life. The nine of Raphael. Oh my God, the nine of Ariel. You see this, the rainbow with the unicorn? Your dreams are fulfilled. Your hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. Wow, beautiful. I'm not even gonna add to it, you guys. 
Okay. Leap of Faith. Oh, that's so weird. They're like right next to each other. It's the last major arcana with the zero major arcana. I don't believe in coincidences. We'll start with the world. Archangel Michael. A very happy ending coming full circle. Spiritual growth and insight. It's like now it's time for you guys to start new chapters. Go after something because they gave you the leap of faith. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Sagittarians, do what brings you joy. Go after those new beginnings. Okay, the Queen of Raphael, the Queen of Michael, and they finished off with the Page of Michael. Two queens. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience. A time for your career rather than relationships. Like, go after something. You're going to get it. The Queen of Raphael. Follow your heart, a love of home and family, and trustworthy psychic information. I saw the high priestess. Trust your own gut. Trust your intuition. It's going to lead you in the right direction. It's a deep knowing. We don't question that. We just know. Page of Michael. An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review. Contracts or documents very thoroughly. I just feel like it's review everything very thoroughly before you venture out. Know what you want. Follow your heart. Trust your intuition. And take that leap of faith and do what brings you joy. New chapters are here. Sagittarians, what a beautiful reading. Good for you, Sagittarians. This is beautiful. You guys, thank you for viewing me. I am rolling into love crossing. So if you're in a harmonious union, um, you know, harmonious with all your love relationships, family, friends, lovers, whatever, that's not going to be for you. And this is for people going through something with someone, trying to figure out why they're going through it. You know, we all, we're all on our own journey. I'm doing the light sears today. These are the strongest love crossing. They may or may not be all your persons. I have a judgment. I got it with the world. Three of cups and someone who's doing a lot of healing about something new in their life that they want. Like whoever you're dealing with wants new and they're really looking at things in their life that haven't been serving them because they want to let it go to release it. It's a compassionate review. I feel what this person wants is to start over with you, Sagittarius. Spirit guides, but judgment in the world can be, uh, why I got a card in here? Who is it? No. No. It's strength and courage. I don't even know how it got in here, but you can sit right there. Okay. Love crossing, you know, the world, the judgment card, and the page of pentacles. They're really reviewing their own actions. They're looking at things in their life that haven't been serving them to rebirth something new for new chapters with you. Love crossing, strongest energies. Yeah, they're not going anywhere. My Sagittarians have been dealing with what would you like to tell me? Strongest love crossing. My Sagittarius has been dealing with. Tell me about the love crossing, please. Thank you. Strongest love crossing energies for Sagittarius. Oh, well, somebody feels completely alone. Five of Pentacles. Self fulfilling prophecies, how nothing's going to work out. Okay, I've been in that energy. We've all been there. I'm not judging. High Priestess. Hmm. Somebody's holding back from you, Sagittarius. They're escaping out the back door because something still prickles with their mind. A lot of things prickle with this person's mind. Listen, I, I don't know what's going on, but this is a person who's holding back because they have a lot of self-fulfilling prophecies how nothing's going to work out. This is someone who, the high priestess, it's Pisces energy, but the high priestess is someone who has a deep knowing about something. Like their gut's been telling them something, but they're running away. They're, they're, they're running out the back door from it. They don't, they, this person hasn't faced their fears to grow stronger yet. I'm just letting you know, because we're all on our own journey. Because they're going through a little bit of the dark night of the soul. Now, Scorpio is transformation, and transformation is about shedding an old us, but I feel every you've been dealing with, they're, they're facing it right now. I don't feel they're all the way through there yet, but let's start looking. Six of Cups is in reverse, Six of Wands is upright, and then I have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Somebody does not want something here to be over with you. They act like it. 
But this is definitely somebody who likes a lot of attention. And I'm sorry, you know, if you're the cross watcher, these energies can be reversed and I'm not here to demean anybody. But that's what I really feel. Like this person needs a lot of attention in their life. They're willing to sacrifice something about this connection. Um, they're more consumed with their own ego right now than they are with this connection. I got three cards left and I see them, so hold on. Five of Wands, Eight of Wands. See, here it is. I got the two cups with my beautiful hot pony, Sagittarius. You guys, I, I'm just going to say something. This is their current energies. I feel that there's a lot of things that are coming at them right now. And the Eight of Wands are telling me that there's beautiful things actually flying at this person, but they're making it difficult. They're fighting the energies because there's something that this person is going through right now that they need to review and it's about their own life's journey and how much they've grown. But in their current energies is they fear something here. Even though their intuition is gnawing at them to change, to do something about it, they're in deep introspection right now about their outer skin. Like they know there's a part of them that has to change. They have to shed something here. They're in that energy right now. Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, this is someone who is definitely all about victory and I just feel that they're willing to get into this energy just to make them feel good, but it's short lived because there's a lot of things flying at this person right now to teach them that they need to change a part of themselves if they're ever going to be happy. But I still feel that no matter what they do, Sagittarians, they can't forget this connection. They just do. They love you. They feel this connection with you. And someone who also flies in and out. So you can take it either way. But now let's look at their intentions. Because you know what I always say? Hmm. Everybody evolves and grows at a different rate. And you know, some people grow fast. Some people grow slow. And some people never change. This person is going through a major change right now. The magician with my Sagittarian. Someone is going to come in and talk some truths with you. Because they can't get you off their mind. They want to speak some truth without a doubt. About how they're going through some things in their life about change like all right what am i feeling here okay intentions towards sagittarius let me just review the cards in my mind somebody who wants a bigger and better life somebody who is willing to put some work into something here with you sagittarians um, I feel that there is communication coming in from this person and they're going to try to open some new doors with you they just don't know if you're going to be open to it. Love crossing intentions towards Sagittarius next few weeks. What do I need to see? Intentions, love towards Sagittarius. Strongest intentions with love towards Sagittarius. Thank you. Anything else? Who is this? Here come the fool. Somebody's taking a new leap of faith, Sagittarians. They want a reunion, their ultimate happiness and transformation. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith with you, Sagittarians. <gasps> Is this somebody new or somebody from the past, Sagittarians? I just started feeling something weird. Uh, three cups can represent other energies, but somebody in the next few weeks is gonna start to see something for what it was, like how they always ran away from situations. They always took out the back door of situations. They didn't wanna do the inner work on themselves. And now I feel whoever you're dealing with is starting to realize, wait, wait a minute. It's my Sagittarians that makes me happy. Oh, Sagittarians. Here's the Hermit, Three of Wands. Who are these? Okay. You guys, I just feel that somebody in the next few weeks it's going to try to pull you towards them. It's really what I feel. The Hermit is beautiful Virgo energy, you know, but I feel this person's done a lot of alone time looking at what's going to make them happy, and now all of a sudden they're gonna have their vision. I see two threes already, so this could be some other energies involved, and I don't mean an affair, it could be, I just don't go there. But this person has escaped out the back door for a long time. And I feel in their energies right now is they're starting to realize their own actions is creating nothing in their life but a lot of loneliness because I have wish fulfillment. Somebody's going to start putting a lot more work into something because I got the lover's Gemini energy and this person feels that you were always 
the person they were supposed to be was Sagittarian. Someone's about to lay a bomb on you. <laughs> like, like I, this is a person who's coming in to tell you that. I, 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 okay, I'm just gonna say what I'm feeling. I'm gonna round it out. I've got an apology coming here or somebody who wants to try to reconnect something with you Sagittarians. They've been running from this connection for far too long. Somebody's coming back around to put some work into something here because while they're away from you, while they were doing the inner work, they realized that it was you all along. And I'm just gonna let you know, get ready. And there we go, more fast change. Like I didn't even put it together till now. Like all of a sudden Sagittarians are gonna be like, what? You know? And if this is somebody you don't want back or whatever, you know, it doesn't hurt to be friends and mend the fence in the right way. But whatever is coming in for you is a lot of happiness and a new abundant journey, Sagittarians. And this is somebody coming in because you were the one all along and they finally found their answer. They're going to take a leap of faith. What you do with it is up to you. All right, Sagittarians, I'm leaving it here. Happy Friday, you guys. Have a beautiful weekend. An amazing next few weeks. Guys, thank you for all your love and support. Love and blessings to everyone. Have a beautiful day.